Good morning, Guardians. Briar Rabbit here. Before we get started, I want to wish every one of you a very happy New Year's Eve. If you're going out to celebrate with friends and family, make sure to stay safe by using a designated driver or a taxi cab, or even an Uber, and make sure that everybody you celebrate with has an amazing and safe New Year's Eve. Today, I want to talk about Three of Coins. Over the past two weeks, Zer has mysteriously failed to bring with him Three of Coins. For new players, Three of Coins are an item available to purchase through Zer, which enable exotic drops for defeating named bosses in Destiny's PvE, or as a reward after a game of PvP. The Three of Coins system was added last year with the release of the Taken King and replaced a system where the primary ways to get exotics were through Nightfalls, Raid Chests, Trials of Osiris Chests, and occasionally as a post-game reward in PvP. Now, due to the lack of the Three of Coins being sold, the discussion of the merits of this system has re-emerged. Is the Three of Coins system a good one? Does it add value to the game, and should Three of Coins even make a comeback? Well, if you watch my live streams or you listen to the Destiny Community Podcast, you already know where I land on this. My opinion is pretty well known, but that doesn't mean it's the only one, and it certainly doesn't mean it's the right one. So today, I want to discuss the pros and cons of the system. I want to give you my opinion, and I want to find out what you guys think, and that's really important. I play a lot of Destiny. Because of that, my perspective is skewed toward hardcore players who want long-term goals in this game. Casual players, or more specifically, players who have more important shit to do than play Destiny every day for two years straight, could theoretically, I guess, have differing opinions on this matter than I do. But that doesn't make it less valid, especially to Bungie. A casual player's dollar and a hardcore player's dollar is still a dollar, and Bungie wants both of those dollars. But there are sure to be more casual Destiny players out there than hardcore ones. So it stands to reason, catering to the casual player is a good financial decision. And that's why I want to hear from you guys, because there are more types of players than just the type I represent. I want to hear from all of them, so let me know down in the comments below. So let's begin. What are the benefits of the Three of Coins system? First of all, exotics are just easier to get now. There's no more waiting months and months to get the specific exotic you want because you just have so many opportunities to get exotics, it's bound to come pretty quickly. Now, of course, there are certain exotics that are outside of the range of Three of Coins. There's the Black Spindle, there's the Outbreak Prime, there's things that you need to do a specific task or a quest to get. And those are outside of this conversation, but for the most part, let's say if you really want a Jade Rabbit, which you should because it's the best named exotic in the game, then you can just farm for it. You get a bunch of three coins, you go find a easy to kill named boss with a yellow health bar, and you kill him over and over and over again until you get the drops you want. It's easy, it doesn't take that long to be honest with you. As opposed to taking months, it'll probably take a few hours, maybe a few days. It's a much faster way of getting exotics. It was even nerfed at one point, but it remains to be a very quick way of getting exotics. And a lot of players, especially casual players, who don't have a ton of time to spend in Destiny, really like that. And that's valid. Another huge benefit to the Three of Coins system is that exotics are rewarded by playing the game the way you want to play. If you're a big Rumble fan, then you can pop a lot of Three of Coins while you're playing Rumble matches, and you're guaranteed to get some exotics. Trials of Osiris, same thing. Strikes, raids, whatever you like to do inside of Destiny can be a very rewarding experience. Now, that simply was not the case in year one before the Three of Coins system came to be. If you were a PvP player, yes, you could get some exotics as post-game rewards, but they were infrequent to say the least. It was very rare to see exotics drop as post-game rewards. You got some. I got my first exotic that way. My Thunderlord came through a post-game reward in the Crucible. 
I saw very few others come that way. I saw them occasionally in the post-game reward screen, but it was it was very rare. So now PvP players especially have a much easier and much more fun way to get exotics than what they had in year one. In year one, PvP players were forced to do nightfalls, raids, that sort of activity to get the exotics that they wanted to use in PvP, even though they had no real reason they don't like to play PvE, so they didn't want to be there. They were just doing it so they could get the exotics they wanted. Now, there is another perspective on the pro side argument that is going to be very specific to a few players. And these are YouTubers who do reviews of exotics. If a YouTuber wants to do a timely review of an exotic, the three of coins system is way better than the year one system for that YouTuber. Because you can go and grind for exotic engrams with the three of coins, the chances of you getting the exotics that you're looking for to do reviews on are much, much higher than they were in year one. For instance, I basically had all of the year two exotics within a few days. Maybe it was a couple of weeks, max. In year one, it was, I think, about nine or ten months until I got my last exotic weapon. That was the Monte Carlo. I, I got it from a Nightfall. If I'm looking to do reviews on exotic weapons, it is much easier in year two and beyond to do those reviews, and I'm going to support that system. Because previously, in year one, I, what I would have to do to do a review of a weapon I didn't have was get another user's account uh, who already had that weapon, use his account for a little while to do that review, and then give that account back, and I'm still left there without that weapon. I probably had to level up that weapon, too. Uh, There's a lot of work on my part to get that review up as opposed to if I just got the weapon myself and was able to do it there. So for a YouTuber who does reviews on exotics, it is a very beneficial system. All right, so next we're going to talk about the cons. What's bad about the three-coin system? And I think it's important to note that this is where I land personally on the spectrum. And I think that is very much influenced because by the fact that I play so much Destiny that I want there to be long-term goals in Destiny. And with Three of Coins, that has been taken away somewhat. Three of Coins can be spammed, and that makes the exotics feel somewhat less exotic and also decreases the amount of time that you have to invest in the game to get those exotics. In year one, it took me, I believe, nine months to get my last exotic, the Monte Carlo. I got it out of a nightfall. I believe it was in July, uh, but I, I'd have to look it up. But it, it took me a very long time to get all of the year one exotics. In year two, with the Taken King, I spammed the three of coins at the beginning of the Taken King, and I don't even remember where I got all my exotics. I have no idea. I remember that <laughs> I, you know, I went into a named boss area, someplace where I could kill a boss, die immediately, respawn, kill the boss, die immediately, respawn, kill a boss, die immediately. There were, There's a bunch of areas like that in Destiny. I used three coins repeatedly until I had all the exotics that I felt like I needed. Was that a good idea? Probably not. Did I feel the need to do that because I'm a YouTuber? Probably. <laughs> but it is the way that most people interact with three of coins. Some people will pop one af before every crucible match, especially in trials of Osiris. It's a very, very easy way to get some exotics. But to me, it's a less rewarding way of getting those exotics. The story of obtaining an exotic has been lost. Now you got to set aside the quest line exotics in this argument. I talked about those before things like outbreak prime, things like the black spindle, those have quest lines. So you're always going to get a story when you get those exotics. But I also had stories for the RNG rewarded exotics in year one. I remember exactly when I got my Hawk Moon. It was at the end of an Iron Banner match, and I celebrated. I was so happy. It was in January. And, I, you know, I'd gone, what, what is that, four months without having the Hawk Moon. I had seen about it. I had heard about it. It looked fantastic. I couldn't wait to get my own. I finally got a drop, and I was ecstatic. I made a video about it. 
the Gallarhorn came out of a vault of glass raid chest. It was huge. You know, I knew about, about the Gallarhorn. I wanted it. And I was in the middle of this epic raid, and I got a Gallarhorn and was able to complete the rest of the raid with my Gallarhorn. It was so cool. It was so cool. Thunderlord, same thing. I was playing a PvP match. This was very early on in Destiny. I think it was week one or two. It was my first exotic. I saw this thing drop. I didn't even know what it was. I was so ecstatic about it. Again, very happy. I can tell you about all of the year one exotic weapons. I can tell you the story of how I got them. Because they were sp spaced out in an even matter. They gave me kind of this constant dopamine drip throughout year one of getting awesome loot. But they also came as rewards for an activity that I was participating in as opposed to just farming for them using three of coins and doing so repeatedly. Where did I get my Zala Supercell? Where did I get my Telesto? Where did I get my Hereafter? I don't know. I don't remember because all of my year two exotics came from farming in this matter. Farming some name boss repeatedly over and over and over. That's how I got these things. The repetition of that is boring and it doesn't add to the value of this game, in my opinion. It just doesn't. There's no real added value to three of coins for a long-term Destiny player. For a hardcore Destiny player, it takes away that carrot on a stick. It lessens the dopamine drip of a looter shooter. And the repetition of using three of coins is mind-numbing and boring. I don't like actually interacting with the three of coins between every PvP match or between every strike or between you know before every raid boss. It's boring to go into my menu and select the three coins and activate it. I just find it boring. I think I would actually like this system better if when you bought three of coins, they would just automatically use one after another when it was needed, right? If you had a three of coins and you fought a named boss, the three of coins was automatically updated. You didn't have to, or activated. You didn't have to actually go into your inventory and select it and activate it because doing that, a thousand times over the course of two years, it just gets boring and repetitive, and I don't want to interact with them anymore. I have to, because I still want exotics, because mainly I just use them to infuse into legendaries to gain light level, but it's just become a boring and repetitive action that I don't want to interact with anymore. So the fact that Getting an exotic feels less special and there's less memory associated with it. The fact that I don't have a story about when I got a Zalo Supercell or a Telesto or Hereafter. The fact that it's so boring to just go in there and farm a named boss over and over and over again. And the fact that the repetition of using the Three of Coins is so boring all makes me just not like the three of coin system. Do I want it to go back to the way it was in year one? Not really. I think a hybrid of the new and the old is kind of the perfect middle ground for this. I really like the new quest line exotics. The new Gallahorn quest is fantastic. I love the Black Spindle quest. I love the Outbreak Prime quest. A lot of these new quests are great. But I also really like the fact that I have a reason to go into a Nightfall to get an exotic now. And I haven't gotten the new exotic yet. I haven't gotten the Icebreaker. And I fear that once I get it, I will again have no reason to do Nightfalls again. So I'm actually fearing getting the Icebreaker a little bit, which is sad because Nightfalls were like a big end game thing in year one, and they have totally taken a backseat now. So that's how I think about the Three of Coins system. Yes, it, it makes the game more accessible to casual players, but for hardcore players, it really lessens the experience, like in a huge way. It takes away the, the in incentive to do end game activities, like raids, like nightfalls. And that is a real bummer. That is a real bummer. And it's also just a boring system. You don't get those stories 
of how you got those awesome exotics. You just kind of farm for them, and then you have them. So, you, you know, the stories have just been kind of taken away from us, and I, I find that sad. Now, in the comments below, I really want to hear what you guys think about this, because I do feel passionately about Three of Coins and Destiny, and I would like to see them removed, but I understand that my perspective is very much based on the amount of Destiny that I play, the fact that I play so much Destiny, and I have a feeling that a lot of you guys in the comments are going to be like, you know, yeah, that's true, because I don't play, I play Destiny on the weekends, and in year one, I hardly got any exotic rewards, but now I've got all the exotics, I feel competitive in PvP, because I've got the guns that I need to compete in PvP, and I've got the guns that I need for the raids, and I've got the guns I need for the Nightfall, so I feel much better about the Three of Coins system than you do. And I'd like to hear your perspective. So let me know down in the comments below. That's going to do it for me, guys. This has been a long video, I think. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys next time.